What's up YouTube? I'm Mike. Today I just got out of bed. I'm having a bowl of oatmeal and I'm going to talk to you about a topic that I've been putting off for some time because I wanted to make sure that I was being totally transparent and, and really giving you like a full a full take on what this experience has been like because in the beginning we didn't have a lot of subs and interactions and so I wanted to make sure that I, I, I gave it a fair, you know, a fair shot. So today, uh, as you can see from the title, what I'm talking about is what is it really like to do OnlyFans, uh, especially with your, you know, your wife or your girl? Um, first of all, I would just like to say that unfortunately OnlyFans is one of the worst platforms that we've come across for shooting couples content. The reason that you will see if you go to our fan link on Denny Kalen's uh, in Instagram or any of our uh, link trees that we have dotted around, I don't think uh, YouTube will allow me to put link tree up. Um, uh, you'll notice that we have multiple fan sites. We have um, OnlyFans, Fansly, Fancentro. I think that's it. The reason that we have used so many sites is because of all of the adult sites, uh, OnlyFans makes couples content the biggest pain in the ass conceivable. They have the worst system known to man. You have to jump through so many hurdles just to date, just to do any kind of content with your, with your spouse. And the thing that's really important that I want to get to right out the gate that I think a lot of people don't understand is, you know, they get somebody, they, they consider doing OnlyFans or some kind of fan site and they, they jump straight to the conclusion that they're going to be porn stars and nothing, nothing needs, to, you know, nothing's further from the truth. Like, um, sorry, I'm fucking with my camera. Um, I really honestly don't know why every single person on earth does not have an OnlyFans account. Because there's no requirement about what you put on there. Like, you, your OnlyFans account could look exactly like your Instagram account. It's just on a platform that where if people want to pay for things, want to contact you and say, hey, you know, I saw you in that really sexy bikini shot in Colorado do you you know would you have would you be willing to send me a topless photo i'll pay $5 or whatever like it's not like you can't have that happen on instagram but with, on onlyfans it's it's already the, the the payment model is already baked in so i don't understand why everybody doesn't have one if you're a bodybuilder if you're just a cute girl if you do make some kind of product, like let's say you build choppers or you build furniture or you have, you're a bass fisherman, you're a hobbyist, like anything that you do that you could take pictures of, or if you write little stories, if you, if you write, like what if you write like little romantic, dirty, smutty stories, like whatever, it doesn't matter. I mean, it could be, it could be totally PG, it could be totally X rated. There are no rules. Well, there's some rules, but as far as what you, you know, in, the, the outside of some crazy rules, like what you put on your on your page is completely up to you. So for the longest time, this is actually our second attempt at doing OnlyFans, and I didn't. The, the the setup process is not. It's not like instantaneous. You have to go through a vetting process. You have to send them your driver's license. It's a whole bunch of drag. That's why like Fansly and Fancentro are much easier to get set up. But um, I got the first time we started doing it, um, we had been promoting it heavily on on YouTube, and we had been promoting it heavily on uh, my wife's sexier Instagram page. And I had made the mistake. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know back then. I was hashtagging a lot of her. Um, I was hashtagging a lot of her pictures with hashtag hot wife. Because my stupid ass just thought that a hot wife was like a hot wife. Like, it, it's just like when your wife is hot. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I start getting all of this disgusting shit in the DMs. These guys are trying to hook up with my wife. And I'm like, what the fuck have I gotten into? And finally found out that that is not, that term does not mean what I thought it meant. What it actually means is that the, this is a woman who's married and her husband lets her sleep around and nothing can be further from the truth. 
So that made me really insecure and it just put a really bad taste in my mouth because the, the, the kind of communication that we were getting was disgusting from people that I honestly just wanted to murder. And, um, and I just got real grossed out by the whole thing and I just pulled a plug on it. But I didn't want to take the entire page down because there's a lot of work to put it up. So for the longest time, we had an OnlyFans page up that was $50 a month that people would that people would uh, would occasionally subscribe to at $50 a month and the only thing that was on there was pictures of me fishing. That was it. That's all I put on there. And I was, you know, it'd be like one person a month would sign up for 50 bucks. I even said in the description, there is no porn on this page. This is a troll page. Do not subscribe to this if you're looking for porn and still like I probably made $300 over the course of six months while we were on vacation for people signing up to apparently look, watch me catch fish, which is what I'm saying, man. Like there's, there's like, there's no reason not to have one. You can basically post exactly the same shit that you post on any other social media platform. You just have the freedom that if you get comfortable enough that you could step it up to the next level. So right now what Sarah and I have is a VIP page under the handle Mord Sith Lord, M-O-R-D-S-I-T-H Lord. In case you don't know why we would have chosen that, that's a combination of Sith Lord from Star Wars and the Mord Sith, which is a character in a book called the um, Sword of Truth series. Irrelevant, that's, that's currently our VIP uh, page that's, that has all of our content. There are some videos we have not gotten good at making the videos, uh, which is why I think that our, our, our pay page is suffering. Uh, the one thing that we have not gotten comfortable with um, still to this day is giving up our, our, our personal private time in the bedroom. My wife and I have very lengthy, intimate, you know, sexual sex life, and we're just not really ready to like, totally change that you know like when you try to shoot content you can't really shoot it like you do your normal sex you know you have to get into like positions that the camera can see you need like lights you need to almost kind of choreograph this thing and so what happens is that the sex ends up looking very sterile it's not it doesn't look like what you would normally do and I've had some some people like give us that feedback going you know this looks kind of set up and to a certain degree, it is set up. It's not, you're not unfortunately seeing a very good representation of what our normal sex life is because we just feel like it would be kind of boring if we put a camera in the corner of the room and I'm just like laying on top of her the whole time. You know, and she's buzzing away with a toy and the, the lighting is all bad and dim and it's, it's, it's probably not gonna be good. Maybe we should shoot it that way anyway and let people make the decision. So the way we did it, in the way that I would recommend anyone who is considering doing it, especially if you're a girl, I know Sarah's talking to a couple of girls who've been asking for some advice about how they could get started, you know, you know, with their own OnlyFans account, is basically just create the account and just do like a bikini account, you know, or a sexy dress account, like a cocktail dress account. If you're a dude and you want to get, you want to test the fucking waters. Just create, mm, create your own account and and just put bodybuilding pictures up or, or pictures of whatever, and then and then your behavior on that site is really completely up to you. You can choose to set it for free. So we have a free account that's Dena Kalen, D E N N A K A H L A N. Again, you can find all these links in the description. If you go to my wife's Instagram, Dina Kalen Instagram, all the links are there to the Fan Centro, the Fansly, the OF pages, everything. So the vast majority of the followers are on the free, uh, the free, the free page, and basically what I post on there is just like sexy pictures of her and like evening gowns, dresses, lingerie pictures. There's some bodybuilding stuff in there. Uh, there are a couple like little freebie sex pictures. Uh, my dick is depicted in two, at least two of the pictures. Um, so be careful if you sign up for that. But for the vast majority of the part, it's completely non-nude. 
And so that allows you to build a following of people who are like, okay, I find this person attractive. You can start getting comfortable with what it's like to upload the pictures, how to check the, the analytics, how to kind of run the account. And then if you want to on your free page, let's say you're a girl, let's say you get a good following, you know, you've got a couple hundred people who are following you and they're like, hey, we want to see more. Then maybe you maybe you take your top off in a series of pictures and you can post those those topless pictures, you know, into a post and you can set it for pay-per-view only. So they can subscribe to your feed for free. They can see all of your non-nude content for free. And then if you want to kind of take the next step and maybe show show a nipple or something then you can post those pictures and they'll be blurred until they pay for them. And you can set that for $5, $10, $50, whatever you want to charge for the pictures. And so that way you can kind of ease into what you feel comfortable with. And so that's ultimately what we did. We started out with a lot of just bikini pictures and then our first time around. Our first time around we started out with bikini pictures and then we started doing a little bit of topless pictures and then we added in a little like a little bottom but not like real gross like her legs together you know you could just kind of see like a little bit of a camel toe just kind of get a feel then we started posting some pictures that were like still images from sex acts and then we started getting a little bit more comfortable people started requesting some videos and we have shot some videos and they're not very good videos like one of them like I was on DECA for like, I was on DECA for half the time. So like I've got like a cock ring on and I'm like fighting DECA dick trying to make porn. So it's not like great A. But uh, that's the thing is a lot of people actually prefer that. They prefer that it's not, you know, you don't have to worry about having like some studio setup because a, a, what a lot of these people are looking for is that more amateur, real, raw kind of content. And so I really wish people would be less judgmental every time somebody goes, oh, I do OnlyFans, and they make these, just jump to these, these disgusting assumptions that there's just all kinds of debauchery going on on somebody's OnlyFans page. I've seen girls do OnlyFans and, and put nothing but their feet on there and make a lot of money. So you can do foot fetish content, you can do whatever you want. It can be as, it can be as tame or as dirty as you want it to be. And then once you have your account set up, it's nice and easy to just transition to whatever you want. Then of course, if you get if you don't want to deal with having to like on our free account, anything that's nude, you have to pay per view. So you might have to pay ten dollars to see one video or eight dollars to see one package of pictures that's got now there may be fifteen pictures in them, but it's like multiple poses from the same shoot. So before long, like I've had guys come in there and spend, you know, thirty dollars on a cup like on a video and a picture package or something when they could have just spent 50 bucks and gotten access to like all we have like 492 images and videos i think total right now we've been in kind of a lull of making new content because we just trying to figure out what what we're doing here trying to figure out if we're gonna be shooting more video and what i actually honestly prefer the pictures the stills i don't really like trying to get everything set up for video because it's like sex in our house happens kind of organically we're not at the end of the day we're not pornographers and so it's kind of weird and you're like okay let's get all the lights and the cameras out and let's get in character and let's fuck on screen and it's like eh, it doesn't really feel good um so what we've kind of dialed back to is like i just prefer to take a lot of sexy pictures of her and then we can stage sex events where we get uh you know we can have sex on camera but just take still images from it instead of video which is actually kind of fun to try to get the sexiest looking shot from the from the different angles that you're kind of playing around with and then we would rather just shoot video upon request so like one guy wanted to see a video of me like like finish on her chest and so that can actually be kind of fun when somebody else is like hey I want to see this particular thing and then it's easier because you're like, okay, we could do that, you know? And so then it's like, I don't know, it just feels different than if you're like, if you're if you're sitting around the bedroom with your with your wife and you're like, hey, what do you think other people would like to see us do? It, 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 has, a, it has a different feeling than if somebody's like, hey, I would, like one dude paid like $15 
for a video of me giving her a foot bath. So like I put her feet in a foot bath and I did like all like the, you know, scrape her heels and on the side, you know, do all the cuticle stuff and massaged her feet, took all of her toenail polish off and painted her toes. Like little shit like that. You just never know what somebody might request. It's like, dude, I'll pay you 15 bucks if you give her a foot bath. It's like, rock on. And so um, when you go that route to where you you kind of do video on request, which is I think the direction that we're getting ready to start going, um, psychologically it feels different. Um, the other part is, like I was saying, there is a psychological impact, especially for guys. So the reason that this is the, our second attempt at doing this is because, like I said, the first time we tried, we had four, I, I didn't know the terminology I was using, and so I started getting all of the worst kind of actors known to man. And uh, that whole community, you know, y'all do what y'all do, but I'm definitely not sharing my wife with anyone. That is not what we are about. We are not into swinging, fucking orgies, any kind of hookups at all, period, zero. Not with other men, not, uh, not with other women, nothing. And so we had, it was just a lot of dudes I was having to fucking run off. And I was having to get pretty aggressive with it, and it just wasn't worth it. It made me insecure, honestly. Um, obviously, the first thing that you have to try to get you, wrap your head around is like, as men, we're so territorial. You know, we have in our heads like that's your girl. You don't let somebody, you don't let some girl see you. somebody see your girl topless. Certainly not bottomless. And uh, it really ends up not being that big of a deal. For one thing, you're probably not gonna blow up, so you're probably not gonna have like. 500,000 people looking at your girl. <laughs> it's probably not going to happen. So whoever looks at you and your girl is probably going to be a really small audience. And at the end of the day, they paid to look at it. So like, what do you have to be ashamed of? You know what I mean? Like if somebody's like, hey, I saw you on OnlyFans. You're like, hey, well, thanks for the support. You know, I'm 43 years old. If you want to pay to look at my old wrinkled ass on OnlyFans, then have at it, you know? And so... The other thing is with pictures, you know, you can get the lighting good, you know, you can go in there and edit out, you know, some acne marks or some, some scars or bruises or whatever that you can't really take care of. You can clean it up a little bit. So what we're thinking about doing is dropping the price down. We'll probably leave the videos up. I don't really care. Like I said, I've gotten totally comfortable with it. Uh, I'm pretty sure my wife is probably not going to run off with somebody that she met on OnlyFans, which was a distinct fear in the beginning. That's, that's the other thing. You fear like, oh my God, like I'm exposing my girl to all these guys all over the world. What if like, what if like some oil tycoon comes along and, and sees her and tries, it's like, dude, it's probably not going to happen. Uh, maybe it will happen, but it's probably not going to happen. And so the, the point is that whatever your preconceived notions about it are, they're probably massively overblown and you can definitely kind of just do what you feel comfortable with and don't feel what you don't feel comfortable with and what you feel comfortable with from one day to the day may change. If you make a male account, you will probably get lots of homosexual guys asking for dick pics or, you know, little jerk videos or whatever and that's up to you, man. If you want to, if you want to sell that kind of content and you want to put a price on it. Man, do you, you know, at the end of the day, all this is happening behind closed doors. You're not out in the public. You're not exposing yourself to other people. It's, you know, it's all watermarked. It's all protected by a team of lawyers. And I know there's ways people get around it, but I'm not that fucking paranoid. And it's just another revenue stream. It's just all it is. It's like, I make money on Instagram. I make money from my TRT clinic, not Instagram. I make money from uh, YouTube. I make money from my TRT clinic. I make money from our fan pages. Sometimes I get super tips and you start getting all of these revenue streams to grow together. And then before long, you're getting close to being able to not have to work. And we're really not terribly far off. If we could convert some, some people to, you know, chipping in a little bit more, you know, we might be able to make that happen. So we're, we're trying to decide, you know, what direction we want to go in. Um, but definitely check it out. It's worth looking at the free, to, it's worth creating an account on OnlyFans or Fansly. Fansly is a really great site. They're much easier to work with with couples. So is Fancentro. Um, all of our content is on Fansly and all of our content is on the free OnlyFans page. On Fansly, you can actually go and you can pay a smaller amount for just the topless pictures. Uh, what you will also find on there, we went through a period where we decided that we were going to do full nudes again, but we were going to do, we were going to wear masks. 
So when we when we started OF the second time, we started it always taking pictures behind costume masks. And that actually was a lot of fun, but I just felt like there was limited growth that you could get. And really what drives the growth to our OF pages is is YouTube. Like if I don't talk about it on YouTube, it doesn't grow. We were trying to grow it on X and we were trying to grow it on Instagram and it just Instagram is a cesspool. It's just a waste of fucking time. The second I started talking about it on YouTube again, then um, things started growing. So the unfortunate unfortunate case that we have is that the people, there's over 50 subscribers now and, and nobody gives us any feedback as to what they want to see, what they'd be willing to pay. And so it's kind of like fucking pulling teeth, getting people to, you know, to interact. It's, you know, it's like likes help the algorithm just like on, on uh, YouTube and 50 people will look at a picture and two, two or three people will bother to click the like button. So um, definitely check out the free page uh, if nothing else. If, if for no other reason than to get a feel of what you can do for yourself. Because like I said, I mean, dude, I was making, I made like $300 just because people are dumb, I guess. Or or maybe they were just trying to support the channel. And if that's the case, hats off to you, man. That's really great. But I mean, it, you could make money on OnlyFans just posting bodybuilder pictures. There's actually dudes I found out for the guys in my audience, if this is something you can stomach. Um, I found out there's an entire market on OnlyFans for bodybuilders who will record themselves lifting weights naked. <laughs> there's like apparently a bunch of dudes that will pay for this. So like if you'll do like overhead presses with no bottoms on, deadlifts, bench presses, there's some kink out there, like if you have a home gym and you will record yourself lifting naked, like I haven't tried it yet. My wife's been trying to tell me like, just go in there and do some little shit, you know? But I don't know who's following me. If I if I had somebody request it, I probably would. But I get the impression that most of the people who are on my OnlyFans are there for Sarah. If there happen to be any dudes that are watching this video and you're joining my OnlyFans page and you want to see more male-oriented content, I mean, shoot me a DM, man. Let's talk about it. Like, I'm, you know, I'm open to fucking discuss it at least. If you want to see some, <laughs> if you want to see some topless bodybuilding shit going down, I mean, maybe we can make that happen. So anyway, I just wanted to record this video because I, I think I, to try to like take the sting out of something, it's like there's like this elephant in the closet for a lot of people because they have these preconceived notions about what about what's going on over there. Maybe they've never had an account or they, they, they think it's like the pits of hell are unleashed. Dude, it, it's really very tame and minor. It's like not easy to get exposed to something. Like, it, it's it's really not as big of a deal as you think it is and uh, it's a lot of fun you can do live on there we're actually thinking about doing that and the other cool thing is I can talk about whatever I want like I said I've threatened to move some of my YouTube content over there uh, just because I don't have to deal with censorship so um, it's crazy but uh, if you're a couple I will warn you OF is a pain in the ass to set up Fansly is a lot easier Fancentro is a lot easier um, just because of all the bullshit hurdles you have to jump through with OnlyFans as a couple. But if you're a single performer, then if you're a girl, OnlyFans is definitely probably for you. And just start, start it out in bikinis and dresses and see what happens. See what you get comfortable with. Don't let, don't let anybody talk you into doing something you don't want to do. Put a price tag on it. And uh, at the end of the day, it's a lot of fun. You make a couple extra bucks. You know, that's one of the things that's frustrating for me on our free page is it's like, I know some of you guys go to strip clubs, you know? I know you fucking do. You go to the strip club, you look at a girl, you tip her three or four bucks. Like, come visit our fucking page and, and drop a two, three dollar tip here and there. Help a brother out. Help, help, help us grow this account. Help us uh, continue to make exciting content. Um, you know, a couple bucks here and there goes a long way from a lot of people. So it doesn't take, it doesn't take, uh, you know, big donors. You just need a lot of people who are willing to drop a couple bucks in the fucking, in your, in your little pot outside while you play your ukulele on the streets, you know, uh, <laughs> whatever you can get. So that's what it's been like. If you're a super jealous guy, again, one of the ways that you can kind of get around that, if you're going to do this with your girl, start out real basic and then just go slow. You know, it, w whenever you get to the point where you decide, like, hey, let's do some topless shit, you know, put a couple of pictures out there 
wait till they get seen, wait to see what kind of comments they get before you like go all in. That way, worst case scenario, three or four people have seen three or four people have seen your girl topless, and if it's something you just are eaten up with, you can't fucking cope with it, then you can shut down before it becomes painful. Cause I'm gonna admit, man, that's what happened to me. Like she had a couple of guys that were messaging her on there and they were just like in love with her and they were all over. They were one guy was like a pilot and he was flying around and he was telling her how beautiful she was and, it, and they started getting this dialogue going, which I mean, Corey, I was, I was involved in all of it, but it just felt really weird when somebody's directly talking to your girl. And so it takes some mental gymnastics and it takes a lot of trust in your girl. And she's like, dude, like you have nothing to fucking worry about. Like just talking to these people in the same way I talk to anybody, you know, on your channel or on, on X or on Instagram. It's just, it's just for the fun of the interaction. So start is start off. If you decide to do it, start slow, come check out our page. If you are going to, if you, if you check out our, our free page and you think you want to try it, let me send you a link so that, uh, an affiliate link so we can be connected and, um, we can earn a little extra off each other that way. Might as well, might as well make as much money as we can together. So if you're thinking about trying OnlyFans, I will send you an affiliate link and uh, come check it out, see what you think. But uh, I just wanted to make this video to kind of clear the air because it's really not, it's really not what I think a lot of people have imagined it to be. It's uh, it's way more tame than that. I mean, you click. You click the hub, man, and you're instantly going to get blasted with a lot of crazy shit. Whereas when you go to OnlyFans, you could create an account and never see anything because you have to choose to subscribe to the content. It's not like you just get blasted with like a, a you know, a tube page of all these different videos. Like it just doesn't work that way. It's way more close knit. And so you don't have to worry about, you know, getting in trouble with your wife probably or whatever maybe she's totally against it and get her involved man you know she might she might enjoy it too like it, it's because it, effectively it's as private as you want it to be so you might find out that like that's one of the things that sarah and i learned is it's fun just taking sexy pictures with your wife you know your girl feels sexy putting on a dress modeling for you noticing that that gets you excited Create an OnlyFans account, make it free, make it paid. Like ours, our paid account is fifty dollars a month because I'm protective of my wife. If you're gonna see my wife having sex, you gotta pay for it. Like I'm not, I'm not ready yet to give that away for cheap. I may be willing to change my mind very soon and lower the price to try to get more, to try to get more um, subscribers. But you know, that's again, it's just part of the process. Decide what you feel comfortable with. So. You can put it up there and you can put it behind a paywall for $50, which will basically make it invisible to 99% of the world because they're just not going to pay. And so you can kind of get the excitement of having made something, you know, titillating and you've technically put it out there in public, but no one's watching it yet. So there's no real cost. There's lots of ways to navigate it and have fun with it. And it really can lead to new spice and new excitement in your relationship because then you start coming up with, with different fun things to try to do to make content and that can that can bring some, some much needed spice back into a marriage. So there you have it in case you've been wondering what that's like. That is what it's like making OnlyFans uh, content. So far we've been very lucky and the people are very kind and not grotesque in the comments. In, in previous our previous attempt, again, we did run into some bad actors, but for the most part, everybody's been very respectful and I think that's probably because most of them come from, from my YouTube channel. So I appreciate you guys who are just enjoying the content, supporting the channel, being respectful of me and my wife. That makes it fun, that makes us keep wanting to do it. So there you have it. As always, thank you for watching. Definitely check out those, those channel links. They're in my description. They're on my wife's Instagram. Uh, follow those accounts. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.